hello there and welcome back to yet a, another episode so in the previous one we have done quite a few construction projects we are starting to green up this mountain over here for some residences or perhaps maybe entertainment instead since we are still thinking of doing beaver venice over here or depending if we turn this into a massive reservoir then the beaver venice could be here or maybe even atlantis uh, I mean, if we don't raise the middle part, but who knows? We still have some time. And, um, okay, what else were we doing? Oh, yeah, this one here. So, uh, trying to avert or divert uh, some of that water off map. The uh, Not the normal water, the uh, band water, of course. And then uh, over here as well, our tank is ready. And, okay, I guess it is time to look at a couple of the new ideas that we, that we do have. So the first one comes from you guys, actually. And it is to start finally using some of that band water and turning it into electricity. So first thing, what we'll have to do, I'm not really sure how we can place those, uh, let's have a look, large water wheels. I mean, we can always do those compact ones over here, but if we can squeeze a couple of large ones, maybe towards the end over here, then uh, that would help us generate a bit of electricity. And uh, the way we are, of course, going to do that is by building the bad water discharge, which allows us apparently to keep it open even during droughts and let the water or the band water flow through this area. Okay, so we'll let the beavers place a few a few dynamites. And then, of course, we are going to place a couple of them over here as well. This area seems to be pretty suitable for quite a few of those large wheels. And I guess we could expand over here as well. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. Let's build a few over here first and see how it goes. Then very quickly, well, fortunately the drought is almost over. But I think most of our mangroves... Oh, wait a second. You're not dead yet. We still have 11 days, so I think we should be fine. There are tons of coffee over here as well, which I believe they have been... Hold on a second. Oh yeah, we are full on coffee beans. And if we go back over here... Oh, this one is not constructed just yet. Maybe we'll give you a slightly higher priority. I would like them to start making a bit of coffee first. Okay, here we go. So another thing queued up over there. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, many, many things to do. We're going to create a bit of a bridge system over here. Cross over and start smelting metal. We are, of course, going to need a bit of power here as well. And for that, we have yet again queued up a few dynamites in this tiny little canal. Now, um, getting here, it is pretty far from the colony. So, where shall we cross? Well, this one over here isn't actually the best of area. So, why don't we change you up just a tiny bit? We'll do a few, few platforms over here and we'll delete this bit. I believe we might want to have yet another large water wheel somewhere around here all right so there we go drought has ended the wet season has started a bit of bad water should be bursting out from uh, from here any second now okay so there we go and as soon as we get this section done i have given them a slightly higher priority as well because we definitely need to increase the power production over here i mean i suppose how much metal do we have only 111 so we probably don't want to waste any any metal let's have a look how expensive were you again 20 metal okay it takes quite a bit but essentially yeah we don't really want to waste any of that um, met metal until we start producing some more i was also just wondering that we might be able to give those beavers a slightly more direct route by going through this area over here who knows maybe maybe not the space is kind of difficult over here i mean we could always go around i mean it, it might help actually we're gonna have to build those platforms here in the future uh, most likely anyway so why don't we give it give this a try we'll place a few roads down and that should allow the beavers to travel all the way here okay we're almost done all right so it also seems we have 28 jobs that is most likely because we've opened up every uh, single of those uh, build the huts and all of the beavers have returned to the deep water pumps now as well but not to worry i have already replaced uh what is it oh yeah there's a couple more over here and uh, we've added a few more advanced breeding pods so um hopefully we'll we'll get some more adult beavers very very soon all right so since it seems we're uh, starting to get more and more empty empty workplaces 
we're gonna pause this holding station uh, just for a little while let's bring it back to 22 okay so that's fine and yeah most of these houses are empty right now we've got four empty builder huts which is a little bit unfortunate all right the brewery is done as well and we've got the platforms in now so the first of coffee should be arriving on our table very very shortly okay uh, you still haven't taken those trees out or the other option is that we have forgotten to place the the roads down in time what about this one here oh yes we do nope that's uh, i don't think that's what we were looking for okay here we go and uh hold on a second i'm pretty certain that the those bridges do look a little bit different now most definitely yeah. they look more uh, realistic i suppose and um okay so things seem to be going pretty well in here as well do we have a priority for this oh no we don't okay so that's fine uh, someone is unwell how did that happen i mean he must have gone down no there's no way they can go down here can they no oh i see what's going on they can walk through the metal oh dear let's delete this ladder over here ah those silly beavers okay you can at least construct those platforms over here and you'll remain safe i hope okay how is the production over here right now still 400 and 400 so we're okay it's just gonna take us a little bit of time to get those little things done and we'll get the dynamites down oh that reminds me why don't we go and have a look over here real quick right so they haven't really had the time to reach this far and i mean i don't think we really blame them oh hold on a second this is definitely looking a lot lovelier and i believe there's no beavers in the way right on so there we go um <laughs> don't really need this one here we can do another dynamite and that's almost going to be done well since we have quite a few jobs and we do want to get something constructed in this episode as well why don't we give it a little bit of time and i'll be back as soon as we have some progress to show right so there we go dynamites are now in place let's detonate them real quick and this means we should be able to schedule in those lovely massive looking water wheels two of them you're gonna take any lo uh, not logs the uh, dynamites not dynamites metal that's the one i was looking for fortunately not it's just 80 planks and 70 logs and both of them we have in in a surplus right now so next thing is we're not going to create a uh, too difficult of a system to connect up the the smelters I think it's going to be pretty easy and straightforward progress over here. We will probably have the cables run from behind. Or should we keep them in the water? Well, not really sure. I guess we'll see what we want to do with this area in the future as well. So let's just lay down some tracks. So as we said, very simple system. Just running those cables to connect them up. And we'll probably have to give you a slightly higher priority as well. Because I know there's so many things in our colony that need to get done and uh okay how are the stairs not the stairs the bridge is going no they are not going at all which means the beavers will not be able to complete this whole task unless we give them a bit of a walkway through it right so those beavers are actually pretty quick because they have laid down a quite a quite a few dynamites over here all right i don't think anyone else is running in this area so here we go it is a uh, slightly more deeper canal now and we should be able to yeah double up on the on the large water wheels let's have a look so you're gonna go somewhere around here oh yeah we're gonna have to take down some trees and then look at how we can connect everything up as well yeah that's gonna be a little bit annoying isn't it and then we might even have to use dynamite into this mountain over here oh dear okay and there we go we do have a bit of a blueprint in we're just gonna do a quick forester here i want to kind of fill up this dead space with a few trees and then we've got some dynamites one two three on this side and what we'll do is we'll bring the power up over and then probably run it like power lines above the the road network that we have or maybe carry it straight over the mountain who knows we've, we've got a few options at least well that's gonna take a little bit of time i think everyone is off now oh dear okay we've got a bit of a flood here and i believe we can oh hold on a second everything is set to zero over here already hmm it could be 
Yeah, it could be the levees in here that are causing a bit of a problem for us. And before it gets too worse, I think we know what the solution is. So let's uh, get rid of all of the trees here as much as we can, please. Okay, you're going to have to go as well. And then we'll place down some dynamites. Yeah, so I do have to admit, it's a little bit surprising that we are flooding here again. Because everything, all these areas are open i mean what we could do why is this water flowing this way that is interesting indeed how about if we were to drop it all down would any of this water go the other way no it is still flowing through here as well which is yeah so maybe with us allowing water from the main canal to run into this smaller little river system this might be well let's give it a try let's uh, raise everything up yet again including this one okay it causes some problems on the other side but at least the water isn't coming this side again so let's see if that's gonna help us out a little bit because yeah it's already affecting our crops and the buildings here as well oh dear that is a little bit messy but okay let's hide the water i believe we have a few trees that have been removed already and then um, I guess we are going to have to build uh, things on uh, stilts here. Or do we? No, it's just the rose that we need and then some dynamite. Okay, so how about we say that you are going to be the highest of priorities. Let's get all of this removed uh, first. Alright, and here we go. The beaver army is uh, slowly but surely arriving to the this area which means we should be able to start placing down uh, some dynamites now the um <laughs> okay let's uh, pull it through this whole area we have i think hopefully learned from the other zone when we were trying to construct it up over there so let's just make sure that we create all the roads that we need right away are you guys having the highest of priorities as well? Oh no, I think it is a little bit laggy already. Yeah, so um, everything is going to get the highest of priorities over here. Couple more, let's see if we can grab those dynamites. You go over here, let's just double check. Stop bringing dynamites if you can. Well, here we go, the forest is almost gone. We've got most of the dynamites already in place as well. There's only one, two, three, four, well, three actually. Just those three, two left. Seems like the last one is done. And as soon as... I, are you going to wake up as well and maybe go and do something else? I, I don't think it looks like so. And you've just decided to come back from your break and just get the last three done. We really love workers like that. Very determined. And here we go. Hopefully he does not wake up. And uh, yep, he is fortunately still alive. Okay, next step we are... Gonna take these ones out as well. Hopefully this beaver wakes up a little bit before these dynamites get done. Because otherwise, yeah, let's just say he's gonna be in a bit of a pickle. Then we'll need the floodgates over here. For the time being, we're gonna leave them on manual. Not gonna set it up for automation or anything. And here we go. Another day has dawned on us. Right, so you are awake now and uh, hopefully these ones will get done in no time as well now the question is should we put the floodgates over here or at the end that's a very good question i mean in here it kind of makes sense as well but then again if we keep the oh actually hold on a second if we put the floodgates here but do like maybe dams over here so that way we could still keep a bit of water but control it a little bit closer. Well, I don't know. But we'll see. We can uh, try whatever we want to do. And let's just get a couple more dynamites in. Oh, dear. You just had to leave the middle one undone, isn't it? Uh, not to worry. We've got Captain Salmi over here. And we are almost done. 61 years of age. And voila. This hopefully is going to help us out with the... With the flooding over here. Okay, so one side of the lake uh, seems to be okay now. What about the other one, though? Oh, dear. So a bit of a flood. Never mind. It seems to take its time to equalize. However, oh, yep. Yeah. It's uh, always a little bit annoying and painful with the farms. 
Let's have a quick look over here because um, the the bombs just take forever to replant and grow the crops. So um, yeah, it is a little bit painful, but okay. We've got one of the smelters up and running. A couple of wheels already as well. How much power are we producing over here? 781. I guess that will do. Yeah. Now, all we gotta do is um, make sure that this is properly linked up. Okay, so you do have a slightly higher priority. Charles wise it seems we have gained like 10 to 15 beavers in the last few days. And, um, okay... Can we do some uh, more wheels? Yes, we can. And I've already been thinking about how to expand this a little bit further as well. So, um, I mean, of course, pretty uh, pretty simple. We are going to have to place a few dynamites yet again, just over here. Then let's grab those wheels. I think we've got a bit of a save now, don't we? Okay, here we go. Uh, one of those wheels will go here. You're going to go right about there and you will fit there. Okay, now if we want... We could actually drag this a little further out. Okay, and give it a slightly more dramatic drop at the end over here. Now this of course means that we could maybe squeeze in a, not a, another wheel fortunately. But I don't think they're going to get to constructing this area anytime soon and if I'm completely honest I don't think we need to and the reason being for that is we've um, we've got enough power right now to start producing a bit of extra metal 131 right now so technically I guess we could 4,000 science we've got 17,000 200 metal blocks though 50 dynamites which we do have and then lastly we need 300 carries we've got 1.3 thousand so okay so why don't we give this a try oh wow that does look very interesting indeed we get a uh, status selector here as well we have closed and then open Ooh, those animations are pretty cool let's try this again it's kind of like some sort of a vault or a nuclear silo that's opening up and we're ready to launch those uh, beaver rockets into into space but okay i think we are uh, hooked up now the wheels are running the power is flowing and hopefully the metal <laughs> shall be coming in soon as well we'll uh, leave you guys be another drought is arriving well i guess that's a uh, pretty good timing maybe we do have to spend a bit more time developing this area i mean it, it's done for now we've already said it's done isn't it yeah we've got the scrap as well now all we need is just run those uh, smelters as long as we can 134 and the next step should be Let's have a look at the science real quick. I think it is the bots, isn't it? And if I'm completely honest, I do want to leave all this bad water here. I mean, what we could probably do is block off the uh, the spread with the irrigation barriers. Uh, so stop soil irrigation and contamination. So if we place them over here, that means, yeah, the soil is going to be safe. But there's quite a, quite a few areas to place them. So, yeah, it, I don't think we need it just yet. Now what we do want to figure out is uh, how shall we build our pot factory over here. There's quite a... I do like this space. And we're definitely going to keep them. I'd like to place some roads through these areas as well. So... One... <laughs> 500 points. Okay, how about we don't worry about the pot factory just yet. I believe we, we still have a few other construction projects that we do want to complete first. At least we, we do have a slightly more steady supply of metal coming in now what we might also need let's see yep i believe we need a couple more buildings to house all that new metal and um, okay we don't need to really set the priorities on these one on these ones just yet let's have a look at the development over here one side is nicely done already lots of it is uh, flowing outside but i have noticed that we do have a bit of a problem the drought is approaching but all of this water is gonna exit the map as well unless we do uh, something about it now crossing over areas you guys probably want to um okay let's cross from here we'll leave these roads in place and then what we'll do is um yeah 
I do think we should probably control the water from somewhere here instead. Actually, why don't we change this straight away then? Yep, that means we won't need any of this and we shall grab the dams. Okay, highest of priorities. We've got 1.7 days. I don't think those beavers will have enough time to complete all of it. So maybe, just maybe, if we do it this way, we might be in luck. Okay. Then uh, just a little bit left over here, but I think access is not our friend right now. But then again, there's not too much left to do over here, so we can leave. Uh, yeah, let's just leave the beavers. Over time, it, it's going to be done. Right now, hopefully we just get this uh, water shut off completed and then uh, we'll, we'll be able to survive over here. Let's have a look at, okay, so a bit of power is being produced over here already. That is fantastic. I think we can delete pretty much most of it in here as well. Okay, another wheel can go just like so. And I think you guys can be unpaused, right? Actually, never mind. Let's pause you again. We do need this forester done over here. And then we'd like to plant those trees before... Uh, maybe a slightly higher priority for you as well. Yeah, before we uh, complete the construction of the wheels. Right, so I'm starting to get a little concerned. I'm not sure where those beavers are. We can see a few of them running. It looks quite funny over there. But, yeah. Okay, here's another row of beavers come in. And there's still quite a few, few logs to place here. I've uh, increased the work hours. It, it, they look really funny, actually, from the distance like penguins in a, in, on a super fast speed but uh, okay here we go we've got two of them in third one pretty much done as well it appears and just one more okay 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and uh, 20 logs are in oh come on did you just really run away Oh dear, 77%. Well, I'm just going to keep increasing the work hours until someone will actually come and complete this. Okay, we've got Pujari over here. Hopefully you can complete this, can't you? Okay, we've got a bit of time. Uh, that is a quick uh, save and uh, here we go. Okay, so we are done, everyone. Thank you very much. You can go to sleep now. We'll reduce your work day back to 15 hours and all right well that was a close one now with this one over here as well you're not really producing much but that's because the water is escaping from the side not to worry as soon as the forester is done and the trees are done then uh, we'll patch this up as well with water wheels and then um, yeah i think we should be should be okay right here goes the trout how long are you six days only okay I reckon we'll be fine. That should give us a bit of time to sort of complete this zone over here. We'll move into the metal city as well. Hopefully we get the bad water discharge done in the next one. And um, yeah, we'll give it a slightly higher priority. And then um, we'll definitely have to keep this going in order to keep making metal. But for now, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.